Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm back with another holiday look, but this one is geared more towards New Year's, although you can totally wear it for Christmas if you want to. You can do more of like a dark green or like a berry color on the bottom lash line, but I did a glitter cut crease with a wing liner and then a pop of like a tealy blue green color on the lower lash line and then I just paired it with a nude lip. You can obviously do whatever color lip you want. So yeah, this is the look that I'm going to be doing today. So if you like it and want to see how I got it, then please keep watching. Taking the shade Combust from the Naked Smoky Palette from Urban Decay is just a flesh tone shade. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and apply that into the crease. You can't really see it. It's just going to help blend the darker colors. And then I'm taking this very light gray shade from Ingla. I don't know the name offhand, but I will list it down below. And I'm just taking that same exact brush and doing the same thing. This is going to be the start of the colors, and I'm doing more of a cool tone look, but you can definitely do more warm tones if you want to. And then I'm going to be taking this darker shade from the Smoky Palette. It's called Password and a more precise fluffy brush. And I'm just going to put that mostly in the outer part of my crease and slightly drag it in and kind of flick it up towards the tail of my brow and then go back in and blend it out. And then I took this cream shade from the Urban Decay Vice palette. I'm not sure why I used that palette. I guess because I already had it out. But you could also use 13 from the Smoky palette just so you don't have to have another palette. But I am using that one later for that lower lash line color. But I am just taking that shade and applying it over my lid and kind of applying it really closely up in the crease. Kind of like a cut crease. You can also do this with like a concealer or a primer if you want it more sharp, but I wasn't too worried about it because I'm going to be going over the crease with glitter. And then if you get a little crazy, you can clean it up with a Q-tip like I am here. Then it is time for glitter, and I'm using this silver glitter liner from NYX, and I am just going to go all along my crease, all the way from inner corner to outer corner, and I'm just going to follow along the line of that shadow. And at the outer corner right here, I am just flicking it up towards the tail of my brow. Just like you would a wing liner, you're just doing it in your crease instead of along your lash line. And here I'm just kind of tipping my head back so you can see it a little better because the lighting was not catching it quite like I wanted it to. And then here I'm just looking down and fanning so it will dry so that I don't open my eyes while it's still wet and transfer the glitter and make a big mess. And might as well have a sip of wine while I am waiting. Don't judge. It's the holidays. Wait for it to dry. And then I'm going to go in with the wing liner and this is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And I'm just going to do a wing like I usually do, and I'm going to follow along and try to make it as parallel to that glitter liner as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just kind of a guideline, so go ahead and create yourself a wing. Then I'm just going to pop some mascara on my top lashes. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. And good thing I didn't do my foundation yet because I'm making a mess. And for lashes, I'm using the Salon Perfect in the style 614. They look like this. And with lashes, always wait. Oh, got to take a wine break again while I'm waiting for them to dry. Always wait for your glue to get tacky because if it is wet, it just makes a big mess. Being patient has been the biggest help in applying lashes. They just go on so much better. So let it get tacky and then stick down the center and then the inner and outer corner and make sure it's just attached and secured all the way across. And that is how I put on my lashes. 
So moving on to face, um, I was going to do my foundation before I started filming um, because you can see that spot on my chin is really, really bad. Um, it's one of the worst spots I've had in a while. But then I thought I'm not the only one that deals with really bad acne. I know a lot of people have it way worse than I do. So I thought that I would just suck it up and wait to do my foundation and use something that would cover it up really well so that people that have really bad acne might have an option for concealing it. So this is the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation and Concealer, and it has a very thick full coverage, so whether you have imperfections or you just like a full coverage look, this is a really good option, and it is affordable because it's at the drugstore. And you'll see when I go over this area on my chin, I'm doing more of a dabbing motion. A, because that gives more coverage, and B, because that spot is very, very tender. So just be delicate with areas like that if you have really bad acne. And as you can see, it doesn't cover it up completely, but it is a lot better than it was. So yeah, that is why I went ahead and just left my face blank to this point. I'm sure it looked really awful, but again, I know that I'm not the only one that has these kinds of issues, so I don't want it to seem like my skin is better than it is or that, you know, I'm something that I'm not, so I just wanted it to be realistic. And you can see that I'm going over a couple problem areas a little bit more just because this is so thick and it's supposed to be a little bit like a concealer too, so I don't put a full, like, couple layers on my whole face if I don't need it. I will just go through, do one full layer, and then go back and just touch up problem areas because I don't want to wear any more than I have to. I know a lot of people like a full coverage all the time, but sometimes I just want something lighter and I can't always have that because of my skin trouble, so I just kind of spot conceal and only double up where I have to. So that is what my skin looks like after looks a lot better than it did before. So yeah, that is my recommendation for those that have problem skin. And then because this is an extra glam look, I'm going to do some cream contouring. This is a Clinique um, foundation sample. It's way too dark for me, obviously. So I'm just going to run that around the perimeter of my face and the hollows of my cheeks, jawline, down the sides of my nose and down my neck just to start the bronzing contouring process. And then I will go in and blend it all out. Then I'm going in with concealer, and this is the NYX HD concealer. I don't remember the numbers offhand, but this is just a lighter skin tone shade that I'm applying under my eyes and in the center of my face as usual. And then I'm taking the yellow shade and applying it just under my eyes for a little extra brightness. And then, of course, I will go in and blend it all out. And again, I'm being very gentle and careful on that spot because it's tender and I don't want to remove any of the coverage on it. And then I'm just going to go in and set everything with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, I'm kind of baking, kind of not. I'm not using as much powder as you would for baking, but I'm using a little more than I would to set it. And I'm using that damp sponge to do the center of my face where I did the concealer. 
and then a larger brush to kind of lightly set the rest of my face. Okay, so then I'm gonna start working on the lower lash line and I'm taking this Urban Decay 24 seven pencil and it says the shade is LSD. It's just a kind of bluish sparkly kind of color. Um, and I'm just going to apply that on my waterline and also along my lower lash line and just smudge it out. And I am using the shade Unhinged from the Urban Decay Vice Palette. This is a little bit more of a tealy kind of color. And I'm taking a flat definer brush and just pressing that up against the base of my lashes to smudge that liner out and kind of set it. And then I'm just taking a pencil brush with nothing on it and kind of going along the edge of that shadow just so it's not like a totally harsh line just has a little bit more of a smooth transition then it is time for bronzer and i'm using the nyc sunny bronzer and i'm just going to go along all of the areas where i put that darker foundation earlier Taking this color from the Kat Von D shade light palette, it's just a cooler tone shade, and I am just going to take a contour brush and run that into the hollows of my cheeks just to carve them out a little bit and give them some definition. And I also just run it along the sides of my nose just to give it a little color back to the center of my face. Then taking my damp sponge and some more of that translucent powder, I'm just running it underneath my contour just to make it nice and clean and sharp. And then for blush, this is Melba from MAC and I'm just taking a stippling brush and popping that onto my cheeks above the bronzer and contour. And this is just a nice kind of neutral everyday flush of color type of shade. I didn't want to do too much because the eyes are pretty dramatic. And then for highlight, I'm using this Trey Steak stick highlighter and I'm just applying some with my fingers. This is just a cream highlight and it's just going to make a sticky base to really make the powder highlight pop. So I'm just popping that onto the top of my cheekbones and center of my nose and my cupid's bow. And then for highlight, I am taking Champagne Pop. And it's just like it says, the champagne color. It's not too like white, it's not too gold. Just a nice in-between shade. And I'm just going to go right over that cream highlight and it really makes it stick and stand out. So if you want a really bright highlight, this is a good way to do it in addition to wetting your brush with something like Fix Plus. And then because it's the holiday and you want to be extra, I am taking Flexitarian from ColourPop and this is more of a white bright highlight and I'm just taking a little bit of that and going over it and as you can see it just really makes it stand out and it's a really good um, highlight for New Year's when you want to be super sparkly and glowy so layering the highlights is definitely the way to go. And I'm also taking that ColourPop highlight and applying it to the inner corners of my eyes. And then I'm going to brush away that bake and just kind of soften any edges. And then to make the highlight kind of meld into the skin, although we do want it to stand out so it's not just like looking like it's laying right there, a harsh line between the highlight and the blush, I'm just going over it with my damp sponge just to help it kind of meld into the skin. You can also spray yourself with some Fix Plus or setting spray that will also help meld it into the skin. 
because we want to look highlighted but we want to look blended moving on to lips i am lining them with this pencil from mac in the shade soar this is just a nude pencil you can do any color you want i just thought with the bright color on the lower lash line i would do something nude but definitely you can go dark vampy bold especially for new year's whatever you want to rock go ahead and go with that And then for a lipstick, I'm using this one from the Balm. I will list the exact details of it down below. And once you have your lip color on, this look is complete. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully I will see you on the next one. Bye!